Well, here we are in London. You're standing here with your time trial bike with the Christoph Horner on the on the <laughs> top tube. Uh, talk to me just a little bit about the prologue. You've written, a, uh, you've done a few laps out there. I hear it's fast. I hear they're wide open boulevards. Uh, tell me how you're going to hit it, and tell me what you think the the, the guys who end up winning how they're going to ride it. Well, the guys in that win are going to be the big favorites, of course, and they're all going to be big guys, Cancerella, David Miller, those guys that have power and can push through the win. It's got a pretty good headwind at the start. All the corners are fast, though. I would say all of them are going to be fast enough to where you don't have to come even out of the TT position with the exception of one or two corners. And so with that being said, there's not a whole lot of room for a rider of my ability to make up any time. I prefer to be really technical. You know, being used to doing criteriums back in the States, that works for me really well, better than most over here. But the course isn't designed like that. The course doesn't have any climbs in it, so it's not good for me there. It's really just wide open, and then you're going to be pushing a lot of wind. So the bigger guys are going to get away with the most power. Those are going to be the guys you're going to see winning today. Cancerella has got to be the favorite, hands down. I don't know if you're still second behind carpets, but I know you were for quite a while. Tell me a little bit about your ride. Uh, yeah. You know, it's just a prologue Tour de France, so I was pretty excited. Uh, adrenaline's, you know, the highest it is all year. Most of, the, most of the races, it just doesn't get up that high, unless I'm in Utah, and then for some reason I get this ball of energy, <laughs> unlike any other race. But, yeah. I was feeling good and I tried hard. I enjoy to be here in the first tour and I'm really, yeah, a dream come true to, to ride the tour and I think I have a good chance to win a stage and I'm really concentrated on this thing and uh, Andreas Kleden is uh, one of the favorites for the classification and me not, I, I cannot win the tour and I, maybe for me it's not so important to, to make a good general classification. I look for a stage win. This is a new bike that uh, we built for, especially for Michael Rogers. Uh, if it works out well, it'll be the, it'll be the uh, bike that we ride next year for the entire team. So it's a prototype. It's aluminum. Uh, it's been built on Michael's specifications. We've tried a number of new materials, different wheels, uh, different bars, different tires. Uh, really, from the tires to the top of the helmet, uh, we've tested all the different materials available and tried to put together the right package. Now this frame works well with the, with the, with the range of wheels that we've selected for the tour uh, and that's actually an aerodynamic issue on how well the, the pieces come together and how well uh, the airflow is around the forks and around the wheels and all those kind of little details are actually quite important. Sort of a backstory is the search for sponsorship. Can you tell us a little bit about how that's going? Well, we've been working hard, and uh, you know, it's been a difficult. Uh, I've said this all along. It's been a difficult environment to sell in. Uh, but I would say in the last month, we've had more interest than we've had in the last the few months before that. And you know, I'm still optimistic. Still optimistic. There's going to be a big American team in the Peloton. And do you think Thomas Decker is okay. the the biggest rival for this jersey? Yeah, yeah, but. It's good, but I was also good. Yeah, so your first stage of the tour, you take a, take a jersey, not too bad of a start. Yeah, but uh, you saw it already with, uh, I did the, the great uh, job in Tour of Switzerland, and I won the really hard stage of Tour of Switzerland, so it's mean also something, you know? Yeah, it's a good so, season for you. Yeah. yeah, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Do you find it a surprise at all that a uh, guys that a uh, Cloden would be uh, ahead of a guy like uh, Wiggins or Miller on a course like this? Yes and no, but I think they show that they, they already this riders they in a good shape, and um, for me it's better and better that these riders they are behind me because uh, for me it was important to see that I can have more distance possible to the s s sprinters, and now uh, it's up to them do uh, the ride in front and for us is to look that we can defend how long as possible.